Before we get into today's video, which by the way is the third straight video of fishing from out on Ladybird Lake, I need to pay a little tribute to some videos that have fallen in the line of editing. I had two consecutive videos from Lake Travis over the last few weeks lined up and ready to edit and the SD card that held both of them has gone missing. I ripped through my entire house, looked through my car, my boat, everything. Hours of searching, never found it. So at this point, it's pretty safe to consider it lost. That video contained two very solid videos, one of which was one where we fished all day, caught like 30 fish, mainly throwing a crankbait, lots of fun. And then a day after school where I caught over a hundred white bass hybrids and largemouth off of the lights. Those two videos are all but gone. All that survived from those two videos are the dash cam footage I had on my other camera and my other SD card, which obviously I could not make an entire video out of, A, because the sound is too bad, but also it just does not paint a full picture. So before we hop into today's video, we're gonna pay a little tribute to the videos that have fallen in the line of editing. But with that out of the way now, we can focus on the video at hand. That's right, guys. We're going back out to Ladybird Lake for the third straight video in a row. You can't blame me. The fishing's been really good out here. And as you'll see, it just gets even better. It's another day of fishing after school. We'll see what that means. It is another episode of hunting for a double digit. And I got to tell you guys, we just keep getting closer. Oh, my gosh. Holy cow! That's a giant! Let's go! I'll see you later, girl. Alrighty. We have made it to spot number one. Yet again, another day of fishing after school, so we're gonna be going quick. I wanna get to the bed fishing ASAP. So we're gonna fish this bank real fast because it always seems to produce, and then regardless, we'll be moving on real, real quick. We'll give it about five to 10 minutes and we're heading further down river, try and find us some more bed fish. There we go. Fish right away up on this point here. There we go. Yes. Nah, he, he's not that big. <laughs> I thought he's bigger than that, but we'll take him. There we are. First fish on the afternoon. Haven't fished hardly 10 minutes maybe at this point, but found ourselves one. Cast it out in front of that point and on the drop, little female hammered it. She is a little butterball. Clearly pre-spawned. She's not gotten to spawning yet. There's a round of these fish that have already spawned and there's definitely a good round of them that have not so far. She is, in fact, one of them. Thanks for buying, girl. I'll see you later. There you have it. Fish number one on the afternoon. Really hoping that sun will come out some more because as it stands, it's still pretty dang murky, man. I can't see overly well. Cannot really hardly see anything. I think I'm gonna come up here and throw a chatterbait up shallow for this grass for a second, and then we'll go hunting for beds. I mean, we're probably only gonna have about an hour, hour and a half of daylight to even hunt for them to begin with. On top of that, it's kind of cloudy and the water's a little murkier, so. We'll see. I don't know how well we're gonna be able to see them, but I said this the other day too, we saw them fine, so I think we'll be all right. Oh, 
another fish right there. Golly. This one might be a little bigger. Oh yeah. Let's go, dude. Two off this point. Let's go, bro. Nice fish. Oh, this is a spawned out female, it looks like. <laughs> Just from looking at her, I think she's already spawned out. I don't know, let's see, is it a, if it's a male, then it's just a little skinnier. But if it's a female, I think this one's already spawned out. It is a female, yeah. I think this is an example of two different tails. That first fish we caught, she is yet to spawn. This one, I think, just did. Because look at her, she's not nearly as fat. Sick, dude. Another fish, literally three casts later. It's a later girl. I like this spot right here, because A, it's, it's a good depth for this time of the year, especially it's about five feet deep. It's got a lot of different things. It's got a good bit of grass, got some rocks. It's got some timber. It's got literally everything a fish will need, you know, as far as just looking for something to hide in or hang out in an area to ambush. I really like fishing through here as well as you got structure from the bridge too. You, know, you come out here, you can fish a grass flat. Like there's just so many things you can do up off this point in the surrounding area around it. We're gonna run a chatterbait over this grass. Swim bait's what I used here last time. And it, it worked good. I caught a nice fish, but I just feel like a chatterbait would be an even more OP lure to throw here, especially with it being a little overcast. Because A, it's gonna go through the grass just a little bit better, but B, it's gonna send off that vibration and shine. We got a little bit dirtier water here today, so I like that. There's a large mouth sitting right here. Might be on a bed. It's acting like it is. Ooh, yeah, there's two of them, okay. I think we may have found some betters through here. That is absolutely a better. Hell yeah. All right. First bed fish of the afternoon right here. Let's see if we can get them. I mean, I won't lie, it's hard to see here. Doing the best I can. If they're there, I can't I can't see them at all. So let me try and get a different angle. I mean, without the polarized glasses on, you can't even see in the water at all. It's like, I mean, I'm gonna do what I can here. Yeah, it's just being real damn spooky. All right, it's progress. The fish didn't get scared that well. <laughs> Literally, as I said that, the fish just takes off. Even I didn't even cast at it. If I can just present this right. I should really be able to piss this fish off with it. Really what I'm hoping is that this glide bait is gonna just convince her to eat like the wacky rig or something, you know? That's really what I'm going for with this. I'm not even necessarily trying to get her to eat it. It's more of a bait just to really get her mad. See, it's just sitting there now. That's good, that's what I wanna see. Things are probably getting pretty close if that's the case. Thought I had it for a second there. Got her. Yes, yes sir. That's a much bigger fish than I thought it was. Holy cow, dude. Holy cow. That's so much bigger than I thought it was. Dude, what? Yes, sir. Finally got that fish. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. God, we worked that fish for so long and we finally got it. There it is, dude. No shot, that's a male. <laughs> it's not even the female. That's a, that's a good sized male, dude. It's probably a almost three pound male. Talk about working a fish for a while, my gosh. Really solid male, I would say probably close to three pounds. Not even the female, <laughs> just a nice size male. That is awesome, guys. Our first bed fish of the day. Took me damn near 30 minutes, but we got him. There was just so much obstruction around the bed that it took forever to actually get this fish to eat, but we got him. See you later, fish. All right, there were two more smaller fish on beds, but I'm gonna keep moving. Don't have a lot of time. I would like to find a big one, hopefully. But let's see it. Yeah, it's 5.32. The sun is down in an hour. Wasted a lot of time on that fish. I wouldn't even say wasted. We got it, so it's not wasted time. Just we spent, spent a lot of time trying to find that fish, trying to get it to eat. So we're gonna keep moving down. Hopefully we'll be able to see in the water somewhat all right.
What? Got the fish? No way! No way! No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. It was just sitting still. Dude, it was just sitting still. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There is no freaking way. There is no shot. Please tell me my camera was on for that. Please tell me it was on for that. There's no way. I, I, I don't even know what to say. First off, big fish. I mean, that's a toad. Second off, I literally just... Yeah, the first fish I've seen, man, that somebody caught, man. Really? Oh yeah, I crushed them out here. Oh yeah? Yeah, this is a big one. I'm just shocked because literally I was just adjusting my boat. I let it sink down. I started reeling and she was on. I did nothing. <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna I'm guess it's probably five and a half pounds on the money. Five, eight, exactly five and a half pounds. There we go, folks. Uh, five or five pounds eight ounces okay. it's a good size fish it's a really good size fish that is so awesome <laughs> look at your folks that is just incredible five pounds eight ounces same size the fish i caught out here the other day we're gonna get her back real quickly and then we'll talk about her because she's been out of the water for a second here coming on the chatter bait there she goes i mean i'm at a loss of words right now i don't even know what to say that's probably the wackiest, most crazy fish catch I've ever had in my entire life. I literally, I, I mean, I'm just, I'm looking for beds right now. Obviously, I can't really see crap though, so I'm not really seeing them. And I'm just chucking out this little white chatterbait here. And I kid you not, I cast it way out in front of the boat and I was adjusting the trolling motor. I, I just let it sink down. I was like, hell with it, you know, I'm all just reeled in, whatever. I get a lot closer, start reeling it, thinking it's stuck in weeds, you know. Still feeling it like it's weeds, but now I'm feeling head shakes and it's moving. I'm just like, are you serious? Do I have a fish on? And then pull it up and it's a five and a half pounder. Like, dude, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh my God, dude. It's been a great last few days. I don't know if I'm gonna be posting these videos in chronological order, but the last one went out was last night when I caught over a hundred fish on Lake Travis. I guess sometimes when the fishing gods are just on your side, they're on your side, man. It has been an absolutely incredible last couple of days. I, I'm just speechless, dude. I just went back and watched the video again on the GoPro. I'm glad we got it on film first off, because I don't think anyone ever believe me if I didn't get it on film. But second off, like, I, I, I can't believe it. It was literally just sitting still and I started reeling it was there. <laughs> That's got it. I mean, that happening period is crazy, but the fact that the fish is a five and a half pounder, what? Like, are you kidding me, dude? There's no way. It's gotten real hard to see. It's real overcast. The sun is just about to set. Chances of finding bed fish aren't likely. And even if we do find one, it's like I also got to catch it too. <laughs> so I think at this point, my best bet is just to go try and like fish normally. There we go. Another one on the shatter bait. Okay, not as big. When it ate, I thought it was big. I mean, it's not a bad fish by any means though. <laughs> I say that, that's still a really good fish. It's not a five and a half, that's probably a three. Golly, so fat and chunky. Okay, not a three, but definitely a two and a half. That's what you call a normal chatterbait catch. <laughs> I think the decision to switch up and just fish normally paid off because three casts in and we already got another one. Another one, come on the chatterbait. See you later, fish. So for any of y'all who want to know what I'm doing to catch these fish right now, and it's the same thing I was doing the other day, how I caught the 5.8. You see I'm a little bit off the bank. The bank is consistently about one to five feet here. And then right about where I'm sitting, about 20, 25 yards off the bank, there's a steep drop off that goes down to the main river channel. It's, a, I would say probably about, where we're sitting right now, we're sitting in about eight feet. It, it ranges from probably six to 12 feet and out in the middle, it's right around 15 to 18. I'm kind of fishing that six to 12 foot margin right now. And with these fish coming up to spawn, you know, most fish I'm catching out here are pre-spawn, obviously they've not spawned yet, but they're working their way up shallow. They will stage right on this line. And so right now, especially, I mean, you can do it throughout most of the year because it's just a good spot to sit for fish to ambush stuff. But especially right now, these fish are staging up the spawn. It's a really, really good area to target. That's exactly what I'm doing. I was doing it the other day with a drop shot, caught a 5.8. I'm doing it today with the chatter bait. I'm doing the same thing. I'm catching nice fish. No 
way, that's a fish too. On the trot, another big one, bro. Another big one. She looks really spawned out. Oh, God. Come on, man. Let me land this fish. Let me land this fish. <laughs> yes! Let's go. Let's go. Another eat on the drop with the chatterbait. Woo! She's high threes, I would think. Maybe four. Hooked really well for that bottom jaw. We were not losing this fish. Look at that. Yes. High threes. Could just possibly be a low four. I don't know, but that's a good fish regardless. Let's go. Not quite high threes, but three six. Three five four, I guess. Not bad. I said like I'm disappointed. <laughs> I am not at all. That is a fantastic fish, man. Three pounds. We'll call her six ounces. Freaking awesome. I think this fish already spawned. She's a lot skinnier than the last one was. She definitely looks like she's already all spawned out. Number six on the evening. See you later, fish. All right, guys, I just got home and I'm all cleaned up, but I realized that I was yet to film an outro, so here we are. If any of you were confused to the last fish catch, um, I put it in the way I did was because I did not actually have the chest mount audio from that. All I had was the audio from my mounted camera on the dash of the boat, so that's why the audio was really bad. I kind of put the music over it, but man, we got to talk about today. It was freaking incredible. Went out there and we caught some fish right away, which was awesome. Then we worked a bed fish, caught a solid like three pounder off a bed. But then we had perhaps the craziest fish catch ever in my entire life. I mean, that was just nuts. Literally cast a chatterbait out, let it sit there for a while. And then I come back, start reeling and there's just a fish on it. I didn't even know what to do. I mean, you saw my reaction in the video. It was genuine, just disbelief, shock. I just couldn't believe that I had a fish on and it was, I mean, of all things too, it was a really big one on top of that. So, I mean, just nuts. I already talked about it a lot in the video, but I mean, I'm still just sitting here wondering how in the hell that actually happened. It's just so crazy. And then we went on to catch some more fish on the chatterbait, throwing it around that transition spot over some grass. I mean, just freaking awesome, man. Another really, really good solid video out on Ladybird Lake. Really hope you guys did enjoy. I had so much fun filming this video. If you can probably tell, I'm just having a blast right now. Fishing is awesome. And we have so much more content getting ready to come out here very, very shortly. So if you haven't already, go down below and subscribe and also check out my Instagram. It's all linked, like I said, because we've got a lot of stuff coming. With that guys, again, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I will see you folks next time back out on the water.